Dan, welcome to Aki's. You've obviously been here a little while now, played every minute since signing and scored your first goal through the week. How are you settling into life at Hamilton Aki's? Yeah, it's been good. It's been a, a good transition for me. Um, obviously, I'd just come off the back of a season, so I needed a couple of weeks training to get up to scratch with things. And um, yeah, I went straight into the team and I'm happy enough with how I started, so it's been good. How much confidence does it give you that the manager clearly has, has trust in you already? Yeah, look, as a player, it's it gives you great confidence knowing that a manager has faith in you. But obviously, for me, knowing I had to come here and obviously train hard and there's other players in my position, so I know it's it wasn't going to be easy and it's not going to be easy. So I just have to look at each game and try to retain my place. And yeah, look, just kind of repay the faith that he showed in me and the trust to just throw me straight in the team. You've played a little bit in England, played a lot of football in Ireland as well. How different is it to Scottish football, do you think? I think in Ireland it would be quite similar, um, you know, in the, in the style. I think the intensity is higher here and the tempo, and obviously there is a lot of quality players here. Even from the only six games I've played, you know, we played Wraith and um, our bro to our top of the league the other day. and. There's not much in any game I've played, even when you've played teams below you. So, um, in that sense, it would be quite similar to Ireland. You know, on any given day, anyone can beat anyone. So, um, obviously, I'm still adapting to, to different styles, and I know how we want to play. So, um, in that sense, yeah, it's it's quite similar to Ireland. But um, I didn't play a lot of senior football in England, so it's hard for me to compare there. And in terms of those games, you mentioned our growth. You know, ninety-first minute penalty. <coughs> Gets, uh, gets them the draw against Wraith, a draw as well. We're kind of a couple of games unbeaten, but is there still a bit of a, a sense of frustration? There? Yeah, look, obviously the other night, I'm sure if you went before the game f as a fan's point of view and said, look, we'll take a point to Arbroath, you would have. But in terms of ourselves, obviously we're disappointed. We're disappointed with both games because obviously on Saturday we're coming away with a clean sheet and we had enough chances to win the game. And on Wednesday, we were 2-1 up to the last minute and it wasn't like they battered us and they were bombarding us down. It was just two penals, like, and to be honest, one of them wasn't a penal, the second one probably was. But it does give us good confidence going forward, knowing that, you know, we can compete with, obviously, the higher end of teams. And we know that we've got the quality within the squad to, to start getting results. And against our growth as well, you, you scored your first goal for the club. Was that a nice little duck to break as well? Yeah, um, I had a few kind of ch half chances against Wraith and I, ju I know I, I do need to probably score a couple more goals just over the last kind of 18 months from set pieces um, because I think I can time, time my runs and, and affect the game, you know, in scoring goals. So um, obviously it's great to uh, break the seal, I suppose, and score. So hopefully I'll, I'll get a couple more. Against Morton, that's another team where we've come so close to winning against them this season and then conceded a, a 97th minute equaliser that day. We've obviously talked about the frustrations of the last few games, but can we take confidence going into that Morton game as well? Yeah, look, obviously we'll be at home um, and we've been performing well lately, so we just want to build on that. Obviously the lads would probably want it to be tomorrow, this Saturday. Um, but unfortunately it's not, so we just have to gear ourselves up for next week and hopefully come out, bring our intensity, bring our style of play and hopefully get the three points. Excellent. Well, looking back now at your career before Hamilton, you came through at Cherry Orchard and, and then Fulham. Was it quite a, a tough move to make at, at such a young age, going from Ireland into kind of the pro youth setup in England? Yeah, I was only 16, so it's quite young. Um, Obviously, to this day, even though it didn't work out, I'm still glad I, I took that opportunity because even not just for football reasons, I think it's taught, taught me a lot of life lessons as well, you know, gave me a lot of independence. Um, so it was tough at that age, yeah, but I think it matured me and, you know, this is kind of my second real time coming over to the UK. So I've kind of took what I've learned from, from that experience and brought it into this and I think it's stood me in a better stead, like, you know. And you had some uh, international age grade caps as well. I believe you're in the same team as Jack Grealish as well. What, what was he kind of like to, to play and uh, train alongside? Yeah, look, Jack was in my age group all the way up. Um, he always said he was going to play for Ireland, so he was obviously talking a bit of brown there. But um, yeah, look, he's obviously a really good player. There was lots of good players. There was a couple of other uh, Callum Robinson played I think once um, there was a couple of players like that who would kind of 
switch over and pretend they wanted to play for Ireland. Um, but uh, yeah, look, obviously it's always great playing playing for your country. Um, I'm disappointed I didn't play probably more, you know, 21s and stuff like that. But that's just down to where I was in my career. So look, there's no point looking back. Exactly. And um, when you were coming through at Fulham as well, I think Musa Dembele was there. You had a couple of, of Premier League 2 appearances as well against Arsenal, Alex Awubi, Inter Maitland Niles playing. Did you learn a lot from, from that pro youth set up experience? Yeah, I did, yeah. I think from my time there, a lot happened, you know, there's a lot of managerial changes from above me, so obviously they're giving out orders to below. Um, and I think that if, you know, I probably should have went somewhere else after that maybe, but I, I didn't really have the right representation at the time. So um, obviously you're playing against good players at the time. You don't really think oh, who they're going to be or whatever. And you're training every day with good players, like you said, the likes of Musa. Um, so you know you're well able for, for that level. So in terms of me coming over here, I don't think oh, coming over to Sc or even if you're playing someone in the league above, say in the cup, I wouldn't be fearful of that because I know I can compete with with high-level players. Exactly. And I was looking at the past, looking at, at the future, do you have any kind of ambitions for the rest of the season or is it just to play as much as possible? For me, I play as much as possible, um, have as much of an impact on and off the field as well. I think I'm at an age where I can make you know, a really positive impact, not just on the pitch, but around the lads. We've a, we've a lot of younger lads there who have a lot of uh, potential. So for me, I want to kind of be that figure where they maybe can look to me and you know, if they need something or just bring that experience as well. And then obviously collectively as a group, like I said to you earlier, I think we are due a few more results. So just try to win as many games as possible, rack as many points up and just see where it brings us come the end of April. You mentioned the, the younger lads in the dressing room. You've already stu uh, struck up quite a partnership with Mihai Popescu on the pitch. It's obviously a, a lot of other centre-backs in that squad as well. Sean Mont, Brian Easton, Jamie Hamilton. How have you found kind of set settling into the dressing room? Yeah, it's been good. Um, I, I find the Scottish are quite similar to the Irish. So, um, in terms of you know how we are relationship-wise, it's been good, and they've all been brilliant. Um, you know, even the likes of Easty, like when I've played ahead of him, he's always been encouraging to me. And that's obviously he's had a brilliant career. So, um, and then he just comes in on Wednesday and does as he does, plays really well. So, um, it's great to have people like that. I think you really you need a really positive change room because. You can only play 11 players at the end of the day and we've got whatever, 25 players, something like that roughly. So not everyone's going to be happy. So you do need those positive characters even when you're not playing. Exactly. Well, thank you very much, Dan, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Cheers.